Apartment Therapy. I'm Kat. And I'm Erin. And we're in Boulder, Colorado. Welcome to our home. Let us show you around. All right, so Stu is a 2005 Ford E450 short bus. He is 22 feet bumper to bumper, and we bought him in August of 2017. The conversion took about eight months, and we've lived in him full time since April of 2018. That's right, and we only have about 100 square feet of living space in here. So our primary design concern was efficiency and functionality. Um, we kind of wanted everything to have a space to be tucked away so it was out of the way when we're driving or trying to cook or do anything else in here. Um, and then we also wanted things to have like double purposes just so we don't waste space. Um, our inspiration for the decor is kind of nautical since we're from Seattle. So we've got some blue, some dog cleats, um, a few little nautical elements here and there. Um, just to give it a little bit of personality. So one of our biggest challenges in the bus was finding a fridge that would work. Initially we had a dorm style fridge that had like a front open door and then a freezer section up here, which is why there's this tall skinny space. Um, but it just had all kinds of problems and we didn't yet have solar panels on the roof. So it was constantly draining our batteries, the doors would fly open, stuff would fall out. Everything was freezing in the back and warm at the front. There were just all kinds of issues. So we solved that problem by getting a chest freezer, which we converted to a fridge using a Johnson temp controller, which is up here in the back. Um, so basically that just changes the temperature of the freezer to fridge temperature. So it's like 38 degrees in here. And this has a top open, so it's much more efficient and we don't dump all of our cold air out every time we open it. And we can also fit so much more stuff in here just because it's sort of piled in there rather than stuffed, you know, sort of neatly on shelves. Um, so that was our biggest challenge and this is how we solved it. So our favorite DIY element of the bus is these fancy little tables we made. Um, it's pretty cool. The store in the back, the tabletop's there and the legs here, and you just slide the leg into one of these two, depending on who's using the table. And then you just spin this guy, screw him down, and just like that, once it goes tight enough, you got a little table and you can kind of squeeze in on either side, you can sit here and do work, play cards or whatever. And we had a few challenges um, working on the table. We wanted like a really long table. So if we had friends over and we're having a meal or something, but we thought the two would be better so we can kind of just not take up so much space and each have our own little place to work or have fun or do whatever we want. So our biggest indulgence in the bus build was definitely our bathroom. Um, just because in terms of space, it is quite large out of 100 square feet and because our nature's head composting toilet was quite expensive. But it was definitely worth it because we use this bathroom every single day, obviously. Um, and it's so, so nice just to have like your own little space, you know, to go to the bathroom with a closing door um, and to have a toilet when you're on the road or you're out camping when there's no bathrooms or anything like that. Um, it's just a total lifesaver. So we love our bathroom. <laughs> So probably one of our favorite features on Stu is the rooftop deck, which we are currently on. It's great for stargazing and sunbathing and just hanging out with friends. It pretty much doubles our floor space, which is awesome. And it kind of gives a perspective on things and uh, you get great views like this. Alright guys, thanks so much for coming over and we hope you enjoyed the tour.